Oh, good. Oh! Sweet cinnamon punch. Um, this is another thing that we found at a weird Asian store. A different one than what we've been going to. But uh, we found it, and we're going to drink it. I don't know if it's a drink, or if it's supposed to go in stuff. There's a little serving suggestion on here. Um, it seems to be a bowl with some... I'm going to go with persimmons. Either that or, like, Metroids, whatever. Um, and then some other things on top. Uh, but I don't know... I mean, it's a suggestion. We don't have to listen to all the suggestions people give us, do we? Um, it's got some pretty basic ingredients. Water, which is a positive. Cinnamon, sugar, dried persimmon, and ginger. Um... The, 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 thing, the thing that made me oh at the beginning was I happened to look at the bottom of the can and it has a very clear date printed on it. We bought this about two weeks ago. Um, and that very clear date says uh, March 16th, 2010. Ooh. But it's in a can. <laughs> um, so we're going to drink it anyways. Things in cans tend to be safe. Sweet cinnamon punch. It's not carbonated. I've been shaking the crap out of it, so I'm certainly glad it isn't. It smells like wassail. Uh, I don't know if that's anything anyone here has ever experienced, but it smells just like wassail. I'm going to go get a uh, glass to pour it in, because I really want to know what color this is. So I'm going to be right back. Um, I went and got a glass. I was gone for a second. Uh, but we were gone for a while. It took us about two weeks to do this. Um, I don't want to get all prima donna. I got kind of sick. And my tastes were not what they should have been because my nose was all stuffy and gross. And I would hate to deprive myself of any kind of horribleness that I might be missing out on should I eat something genuinely disgusting and not be able to tell because I'm all phlegmy and grody. <clears throat> just getting over it, but I can taste things just fine. Trust me. Um... And as with, with me, as always, is Mallory, the only woman in America who can make a slinky walk up the stairs. Um, and I got a glass. And I got a fancy glass. Because it's the only one we have that doesn't have a logo on it that we didn't steal from a bar. And I don't want to make anybody mad at me. So we're going to use a wine glass because we're fancy. That's exactly the color I thought it would be. It's the same color it was on the can. It's exactly the right amount, too. A little bit of froth at the top. Wasail, I had mentioned earlier. Wasail, um, I've only ever experienced it at um, weird Christmas time uh, theater student productions where people wear big furry collars and they sing songs about pig's heads um, and you drink wassail, which is kind of like a spiced mead, I guess. The only kind I've ever had was non-alcoholic because at the time I was but a child. Um, but it smells like wassail. It's like cloves and cinnamon and cardamom and all that stuff. And it smells like that. Uh, it looks like... Um, it looks like straight dookie water. It looks like... It looks like dookie water. It looks like there's been dookie in this water and then someone fished the dookie out and they left me with just the water. It's really gross looking. Um, it's not syrupy. It's a little watery. Again, I always dip my finger in it and I always want to lick it off my finger, but I don't want that to be the first taste that I've had. <laughs> Sweet cinnamon punch. I'm guessing only one of these words is going to be accurate, because it's probably not going to be sweet, and it definitely will not qualify as a punch. No sweet. Uh, no sweet. No punch. Except the one that happens from behind. Someone punching you in the back of the head with unpleasantness. Um, it, it's really dry tasting. Not in a pleasant way, like how a wine would be dry. Like, it actually tastes kind of sandy. Uh, it, 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 it tastes like if you accidentally knocked your grandma's potpourri into the toilet and you were really embarrassed about it, so you tried to, like, flush it down. And, like, after, like, three or four flushes, it just wouldn't take. Um, so you just kind of fished everything out to, you know, stop from getting caught obviously, because, you know, your grandma apparently spends a lot of money on that potpourri. And then, um, she found out, and as punishment, she made you wring out that potpourri into a glass and then drink it. Um, it looks the same. It tastes like, um, 
It tastes like grandma's. It tastes like cinnamony grandma's. If you have a particularly cinnamony grandma, then it probably tastes like your grandma. Mm -hmm. um, if, you know, your grandma wears Chanel or anything like that, then we'll do a drinking hairspray episode later. But as it stands, it tastes like grandma's. And it's gross. And it's really gross. And I don't like it at all. And I don't think the uh, serving suggestion would have done any good. Because I don't know what a persimmon is. Um, I've seen them. I know that Daffy Duck dislikes sour ones, but I know it would not be complimented by sweet cinnamon punch. Um, <laughs> it's it's hanging out like it's like I thought a couple sips and then see ya. It's it's taking its sweet sweet time. It is just hanging out and it's making friends with my nose and with the back of my tongue and it's talking shit to my stomach, saying that it'll puss out and throw up any minute now. And it might be right. Um, God, it looks like Dookie water. I'm just glad it wasn't carbonated. If it had been carbonated, I don't know what I would have done. Because the suds accompanied with... It would it just would have seemed like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle threw up into a glass and I was drinking it. Um, sweet cinnamon punch. None of the above. <laughs>